class here tomorrow. I already set up. friend just to stretch my legs get some oxygen I came across this book I've never read the book it's called what should I do with my life wow what a great title what should I do with my life let's see if I can put you over here We have books at the front of our center. And here are the contents. What Should I Do With My Life? A book by Poe Bronson. First thing is an ordinary guy or ordinary person. Second thing is, have you ever looked under your bed? Don't know what that chapter is about, but what would happen if you were look, to look under your bed? Next thing is, isn't it clear with an exclamation point and a question mark? Is it clear? Is it clear what you want to do in your life? You meaning me too. What do I want to do with my life? Is it clear? Isn't it clear? Sometimes it's not clear. And, and what are you going to do about finding clarity for whatever it is that you want to do in your life? But when I ask that question, doing some, what do you want to do with your life, hopefully there is satisfaction. That's very important because there are a lot of people out there who don't have job satisfaction or life satisfaction. And I've been there as well when, let's say, my career, I was working or I had a career, but I wasn't doing what I really wanted to do. Parasite entrepreneurism. Parasite entrepreneurism. Finding your story is another chapter. Next chapter, lacking an off switch. Interesting, lacking an off switch, meaning what, you're always going? Or you don't know when to slow down? Don't know. Other chapters, the umbrella of freedom. I like that. That freedom to do exactly what you want to do, when you want to do it. For myself, I'm not completely there, but I have a lot of good things going on, and I want to be there. The next is a college man or a college woman, from working class to the educated class. Other topics on this book, building a cathedral, the casino of an American economy, getting oily, then even, don't know, I guess it says switch sides after an injustice. Injustices aren't good. They're never good. How do you deal with them? New person, same job. The list goes on and on. Out of my mind, when is it too late to start over? That's a great question. In other words, when is it that you should cut your ties or cut your losses and move in a different direction. Sometimes it's never too late to do that. Others is the lottery winner. Interesting. I don't play the lottery, and I have nothing against anyone who does. But I just know that if I played the lottery, I'm not going to win. And there may be frustration for not winning and spending money. So because of that, no, I'm going to. The guy that I walked by that you probably saw his legs at the beginning. He's a financial counselor. We have two of them here at work. And if I need to learn from them more, because I was a financial counselor in the past, I will, but things change. What should I do with my life? We have one life to live, and I hope that you realize that life is good. Life isn't always easy. Life will be challenging. There's going to be ups and downs. 
but we have one life to live, and I know that's a soap opera in the 80s, I believe, 1980s. What are you going to do with your life? Hopefully maximize it, make adjustments, learn. And the beautiful thing is when we read, we learn. When we watch people, we learn good things and bad things, what to do, what not to do. What are you going to do with your life? If you are already doing it, congrats. Help others. If you're not, don't be frustrated. Don't give up. Make your vision a reality that it's going to take. Hopefully you can see it. It's time to Take care.